Uh, my name is Yehiatzin Nicholas Glannon. I'm Klinke Unanga, multidisciplinary artist based in Sitka, Alaska. It's a photograph, uh, but also an intervention of sorts. Um, like a lot of my work based on uh, our relationship to land and the history with land, um, for this, you know, the title of the signage that comes from my community. Um, and a lot of our place names here were actively removed, were um, erased, were renamed with colonial or settler uh, language. And, you know, as part of colonization and uh, connection to, to land and history, this work, um, I think speaks to that pretty blatantly. <laughs> it allows for access to perspective. If somebody feels discomfort in this, in this conversation, then take some time to, to understand why we're faced with so much violence in our indigenous communities um, continually. And that violence surfaces through renaming of land, through removal of uh, our uh, children from our families, through removal of us from place, for removal of our access um, to, you know, sustenance and survival, uh, all based on this uh, continual colonization that, that has uh, and still does continue. You know, I started my training as an artist in wood carving and, you know, some more uh, customary um, aspects of that I still, still partake in and still do. But very early on, I recognized that um, there was so much romanticized ideas around what or who we are based on material, language, pre-colonial ideas of authenticity. And for me, that was highly problematic because it didn't, it, you know, we're, we're continually battling for voice, for humanizing our experience and existence. So many of those things are, are removed and um, down to the objects that are in these collections that are, you know, said historical ones, et cetera, that this is, this isn't indigenous art. Did you use this, these tools? Did you not use these tools? Those are modern tools, like these, these myths that um, try to freeze us in time. And it's just really uh, outrageous and tiring how continual that's been for generations. And um, my practice is none of that. My practice has freed what I would say is creative sovereignty of I can lead the way based on demonstrating and doing ideas. And then it's on you whether or not you get to like understand that. 